In this presentation I'm just going to show you a few examples of how to get a systems transfer function from its difference equation. So the first step to doing that is to take the Z transform of the difference equation and that's a very straightforward process. Basically all the Y terms become capital Y of Z terms okay, and all the X terms will become capital of X of, ter X of Z terms. So that X of N term will become capital of X of Z the y term again will become capital Y of Z but any time you have a delay so this is y of n delayed by one sample that becomes y of z by z to the minus one and if this difference equation had an extra term say it was plus three y three y of n minus three say well that would be then plus three y of z by z to the minus 3. Okay. But it doesn't have that, so we'll just remove those last couple of examples. Um, now, really what we want to do is get h of z, which is our system transfer function, but h of z is what we want. That's equal to y of z all over x of z. So we want this, h of z. Um, so, in order to do that, we will group the terms y of z terms over one side of the expression and the x of terms over the other side of the expression. So that will be y of z by 1 and bringing this term over the other side will give you minus z to the minus 1. And that's equal to 3x of z. And this implies that h of z will be equal to y of z over x of z which is going to be y of z all over x of z, and that would be equal to 3 all over 1 minus z to the minus 1. Now, example 2. That's, so that's 1, 2, and 3. So, again, the same rule is followed, and you're going to see there's a very simple pattern to getting the system transfer function. Again, the first step is to take the z transform of the difference equation. All the x terms become capital of x, so that x of n becomes x of z. Uh, and it's equal to z to the power of the delay. Oh, well, now in that case there's no delay, so that's z to the 0, which is 1. Um, plus 3 times x of z by z to the minus 1, because that minus 1 over there, the little delay. Plus x of z by z to the minus 2. And just grouping the terms, that'll be equal to x of z by 2 plus 3 by z to the minus 1, oh sorry, plus z to the minus 2, which implies that h of z is equal to well, it's equal to y of z over x of z, and that expression over here then becomes equal to um, 2 plus 3 by z to the minus 1 plus z to the minus 2. Okay. Uh, and the last example, again, y terms become capital Y of z's, and the x terms become capital of x of z's. So x of z plus 0.2 y of z by z to the minus 2 plus 9 y of z by z to the minus 4. Grouping all the y z's on the left hand side will give you 1 minus 0 0.2 z to the minus 2 minus 9 z to the minus 4. That's equal to x of z which implies that h of z is equal to I won't bother with that part, h of z will be equal to um, 1 all over 1 minus 0 0.2 z to the minus 2 minus 9 z to the minus 4. 